Hi everyone! For this video, I'm going to discuss about the expansion of determinants by minors. So to get the value of the determinant using expansion, we get the summation of the products that are obtained by multiplying each element of a row or column by its cofactor. So for example, expand the given determinant about the first row. So first step is identify muna natin kung ano yung mga elements na kasali sa first row. So that is A11, A12, and A13. So we multiply each element to each cofactor, then we get the sum. So this will be the equation. So yung cofactor is equal siya sa negative 1 raised to ij times the minor. So pag inexpand natin siya, this will be the new equation. Then, yung minor naman, para makuha natin, i-delete lang natin yung row and yung column kung saan belong yung element natin. Then, yung matitirang elements will be its minor. So, in this case, yung element natin is A11. So, pag dinelete natin yung first row, then yung first column, ang matitirang elements ay yung A22, A23, a32 and a33. So that will be the minor of the element a11. So same lang din yung gagawin natin sa rest pa na element. So note lang natin na you can choose to expand at any row or column. Regardless of what you choose, you will get the same value of the determinant of the matrix. And another one is that you can use a sign convention instead of negative 1 raised to i plus j. So, dito sa illustration is 4x4 matrix lang siya. Pero, pwede natin siyang gamitin sa higher orders like order 5, order 6, and so on. Ganyan. So, ang gagawin lang natin is susundan lang natin yung pattern para ma-identify natin kung ano yung susunod na sign. So, for example, this, this row. So, that is positive, negative, positive, negative. So, yung susunod na sign niya will be positive. So, the rest, ganun lang din. Isusundan lang natin yung pattern. So, para mas maintindihan natin kung paano mag-solve, solve, solve, na, solve natin itong problem number one. So, evaluate the given matrix using cofactor expansion. So, for this problem, napili kong mag-expand sa first row. So, yung first step natin is identify muna natin yung elements sa first row. So, that is 2, 1, then 3. Then multiply natin each element sa cofactor nila. Tapos yung kanina, yung note natin na pwede natin gamitin yung sign convention instead yung negative 1 plus raised to i plus j. So ang mangyayari, magiging element na lang times minor. Then yung first row natin sa sign convention is positive, negative, positive. So yung sign nitong minor na to will be positive, then negative, and then positive. So, after that, kunin lang natin yung determinant nitong 2 by 2 matrix. So, para makuha yon, we simply multiply this upper element to this element minus the product ng element na to, tsaka nito. So, ito yung magiging itsura niya kapag nalagay na natin lahat ng values. So, after that, kunin lang natin yung value nung nasa loob nung bracket, then multiply natin sa element, then we get the sum. So, pag nakuha natin yan, ang magiging answer natin sa problem 1 is 71. So, the determinant ng given matrix natin is 71. So, meron ako another solution para ma-prove lang yung sinabi ko kanina na pwede tayo mag-expand sa kahit anong row or column. And same lang yung magiging answer niya. So, for this solution, Nag-expand ako sa third column naman. So, same process ulit. Identify natin yung elements ng third column. So, that is 3, 3, 1. Then, yung sign ng minor natin sa third column will be positive, negative, positive. So, sulat lang natin. Then, same process ulit. Multiply natin yung determinant nitong 2 by 2 matrix dito sa element. Then, we get the sum. So, ang answer niya kapag na-compute natin will be the same as 71. So, another problem is evaluate 
the given 4 by 4 matrix using cofactor expansion. So for this problem, I suggest na sa third column tayo mag-expand. Kasi kasi nyo, sa third column, meron siyang dalawang zero. And based dun sa equation natin sa expansion is multiply natin yung element sa cofactor. Eh, since zero yung element natin, any number that is multiplied to zero is equals to zero. So, ibig sabihin, zero na tong dalawa, then yung two elements na lang yung ikukunin natin ng value. So, yan na yung magiging itsura niya. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parehas silang positive. Kasi, hindi ibig sabihin na kapag dalawa na lang yung isosolve natin is magkasunod sa sign convention yung gagamitin nating sign. So, kailangan i-identify natin kung nasa ang position yung element na non-zero, then doon natin nahanapin sa sign convention kung nasa ang position din siya. So, kung ano yung sign doon sa position na yun, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, for this case, yung 4 is nasa pangatlong pangatlong position ng third column. So, that will be positive. So, kaya siya naging parehas na positive. So, same lang ulit. Kunin natin yung determinant ng 3 by 3 matrix, then multiply sa elements. So, using this illustration, ito yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung determinant ng 3 by 3 matrix. So, copy lang natin yung first column and yung second column, then lagay natin sa right side. Tapos, kunin natin yung sum ng products nitong diagonal na to na mga elements minus the products nung itong diagonal naman ng elements. Then, after that, ito na yung magiging equation natin. So, ang next step na gagawin natin is we simply get the value nung nasa inside nung bracket. Then, after that is i-multiply lang natin siya sa minor nila. So, once na magawa natin yan, ang magiging answer natin is negative 13. So, yun. That is the end of my discussion about the expansion of determinants by minors. Thank you for listening.